Hi, this video is for new to cryptocurrency people. It's for people who have thought about getting into cryptocurrency but need a little help in doing so. We're going to use the Radix platform. Radix is a state-of-the-art, very sophisticated, high-technology platform used for decentralized finance, but it is so cleverly thought out and cleverly organized, it is the ideal, simplest place for beginners to get started. The first thing you need to do is navigate to Radix DLT and download a wallet. They have fantastic instructions on the Radix DLT site and I will work through the instructions with you. So right now, navigate to radixdlt.com and you will see this screen. Click on the Now Live button. This page gives you details information about the Olympia mainnet. If you're interested, read it. I suggest you do. It's very interesting. But if you just want to download the wallet, scroll down, Radix wallet, learn more, We'll take you to this, depending on your system, Windows, Mac, or Linux. I'm going to download for Windows. And as you can see down here, I'm now downloading for Windows, which will take, in my case, about a minute. Once it's downloaded, open it up, and the wallet will install. All right, once you open this, you will get this screen. So I don't have a wallet yet. Create a new wallet. And then you get what is called a seed phrase. Now the seed phrase is unique to your wallet. Should your wallet become inaccessible, let's say you've damaged your hard drive, then the seed phrase can be used to recover your wallet. So it says here, the following 12 words are the seed of your new account. As long as you have them, you will always be able to recover your account, but remember not to store them digitally. So you need to save these securely. Write them down on a piece of paper, stick it in an envelope, stick it in your, I don't know, wherever you keep your valuable documents and do not lose it but do not store them on your computer because if somebody hacks them and gets them then they have access to your wallet so store them outside of the network somewhere on a piece of paper in an envelope in your valuable documents file and to proceed once you've done that click i've written down my seed phrase now it will ask you for some random words from your seed phrase so in my case words 7 8 10 and 11. I've done it. I can now proceed. I now have to make a password. In my case, I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Confirm it. Write your password down somewhere. And a PIN number, and my PIN number will do it 1958, which is my year of birth and confirm it. So you need all three of these things to access and use your wallet. Let's set the name of your account. So let's just call it Radex. So now I have an account set up and if you have been doing that, you will have your account set up too. Now at this point and before you put any funds into your wallet, it's a good idea to get familiar with it. So close your wallet and reopen it, you will have a link on your desktop. Enter your password, click on it, and all is good. All right, now let's suppose you have forgotten your password, which happens. You can create a password, you can get distracted, you've made a mistake or whatever, or you've gone off for a couple of days and you forget your password. So you forget your password and you can't get it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's not letting me in. So I forgot my password. Two things you can do. Delete and restore from the seed phrase. So you've got your seed phrase. So if you've got funds in your wallet, you would use this option. If you've no funds and you're quite happy to create a new wallet, delete and create a new wallet. It's ultra cautious. It's now saying you have to type delete wallet. So you've got a time to think about, do you actually want to delete it or did you click a button by mistake? And yes, I am sure I want to delete my wallet. Click on that, the wallet will be deleted and you're given the seed phrase for a new wallet. Again, you would write this down and follow the instructions. One, two and three. I've done it. Put in your new password. And your new PIN number. And let's call the account Radix Exchange. 
and now we have a new wallet with a new address. All right, I now have a wallet with some funds in it. So I've got my Radix Exchange account and let's create another account. So if I click on Radix Exchange, I can add an account and let's have an account called EanMac. So if you look at the address here of Ian Mac, and then if you look at the address of Radix Exchange, they are different. So I can send some Radix from Radix Exchange to Ian Mac. So I need to go in here, I need to copy the Ian Mac address, which it says I've now done. I need to now go into the Radix Exchange and I am going to send some tokens and I'm going to send them to, and I paste in here, Ian Mac. And I've got one. So let's send 0 0.5 and in here we can say, from Radix Exchange. It asks for my PIN. So sending it from Radix Exchange to Ian Mac, 0.5 XRD from Radix Exchange, and the fee is 0 0.0816 of our Radix. Confirm the transaction. Been sent. I look at my balances. So I've got here in my Radix Exchange, I've got 0.4184, and in my Ian Mac, I've got 0.5. Okay, so we get this far, we have forgotten our password. We now want to delete and restore from the seed phrase because we've got funds in the password. We have to confirm this. And then we have to enter our seed phrase. And I've done that. Enter a password, which we will call password. And we'll go for 1950. The name of the account, well, one of my accounts was Radix Exchange. So Radix Exchange is now restored complete with its funds, and the other one was called Ian Mac. But I could call it anything. Let's just call it Ian. And Ian Mac, now renamed as Ian, is also restored. So I've got both my accounts back. As you can see here, Radix Exchange and Ian. So very, very simple, straightforward, easy to follow, and difficult to delete things by mistake. I hope this was useful, and there'll be more videos coming up soon. Thank you very much. Bye now.